Hi, I'm Keegan, and this is A Bunch of Gamers. This is our 169th episode of Werewolf the Apocalypse 20th Anniversary Edition. Disaster. I'm going to go around to have my players introduce themselves. I'm Tyler, and I play Kyle, also known as Guards the Low. He's a Philodox of the Children of Gaia. Hi, I'm Sam. I play Cora. She's an Aruna in the Geta Fenris. Hi, I'm Adam. I play Mark Guides the Fallen, and he's a third of the Children of Gaia. Hi, I'm Sean. I play Zeb, Speaks in Sweet Whispers. He is a Theurge of the Silent Striders. Hello, my name is Riley, and I am playing Dimitri Howls in Memory, Lupus Galliard of the Bonars. Hi, my name is George. I am playing William Grows Matrices. He is a Arun of the Glasswalkers. Last time, the Pax started investigating Edgar Martin, Kyle trying to recall and relay that information to Mark, who created a sketch, began moving through the city and following someone who they believed to be Edgar Martin. Once getting to the home of this individual, Cora began to bleed from her nose and convulse. Panicking, the Pax fired their weapons into the house and killed who was ever inside before Cora started to take damage yet again. Zev had smelled the mixture of old and new blood in the house next door, and the packs prepared to go in. All right, what do you guys want to do? I say we go on the side with the, with the blood. Quickly. Agreed. Let's do it. Uh, is Cora actively still seizing? Just seized, bleeding, and is back to normal, but, like, was taking lethal damage from it. Yeah. Okay. If it, if this, if it starts to happen again... We will immediately have Dimitri take whoever's seizing, or someone will take Dimitri out and go. And otherwise, we're just busting in right now. All right. Uh, I need a strength athletics to just bash in the door. So you... Door goes swinging in, bashes in. You see this unassuming man dressed up in a suit on his phone as he screams out in shock and horror as you guys enter his home. He looks Cora right in the eye and says, leave. Cora, what's your willpower? Oh shit. My willpower is seven. Cool, thank you. Okay, doesn't succeed, so. Uh, dazzle. Okay, their willpower, and that's based on their willpower, yes? Yes. Seven. All right, success. Did Cora feel compulsion when she heard that? Like, do we know that she had to roll willpower, basically? You can make a guess since the person seemed to lock eyes with Cora specifically, or attempted and, to lock eyes. And they were like, they didn't run away, and they were just telling me to leave. Like, leave. Oh. Can we sense the unnatural again, sir? Uh, while he's doing that, Mark will go for the phone and hand it to uh, William. Okay, the phone is connected with 911. Sir, sir, are you still there? Sir, you said you heard gunshots? We're getting similar reports. Are you safe, sir? Go ahead and just hang up the phone. Smells of old dried blood with fresh blood. Oh, is he a leech then? Well, it's daylight out. Well, he's inside. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how bright it is. <laughs> we can look at his teeth just to make sure. So, because Tyler doesn't remember, you remember that the leeches did seem to be able to empower a few humans to have to be stronger than normal humans and get some leech abilities while still being able to maneuver out in the sunlight. So, kind of like our kinfolk, but. Not not necessarily, but like their helpers. Um, so it's a should probably search the house, see if there's any leeches here as well. Find this guy's name. That's the most important. See if he has a wallet, and you then do. we should probably just leave. Uh, yeah, you we do gotta be careful a, here. You do find find a wallet. The man's name is Brandon Willems. Okay, we'll we'll use that for pain chain. We'll see if this because we don't want to fuck up. We don't want to upset the leeches. That's yeah. not what we're here for. Sure. So. So we, so we got his ID. Let's put it back in the wallet. Get out of here. Leave Check him dazzled for a bit. Oh, the the place that we shot into. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mark will. Wh- wh- whoever's coming with me, but Mark will go. 
Yeah. And check. Okay. We'll go out the back door. Okay. Back door, yes. You go out the back door. You go to the house. You see the guy on the ground in his house, just dead. I'll relay that information. I'm like, yeah, he's dead. Do a quick search all around, just like 45 seconds a minute. See if there's anything that sticks out to us as odd, strange, what have you. And then I think we need to go because we okay. cops, then, probably. <laughs> yes, you do hear sirens. <laughs> so I need a wits investigation from the person with the highest pool to ramshack this house to try and find anything. Looks like that's a zebra. All right, sir. What's the difficulty? I'm going to go, because of the high stress of it all, I'm going to say diff eight. All right. You're trying, but there's nothing, and the cops are now getting relatively quick or close, so... We're going to have to get... Yeah, bounce. All right. Yep. So, bouncing, I need the lowest strength athletics of the group. All right, so it's Zeb. It'll be diff six, though. You are the best and the least of us, buddy. <laughs> it's so, right? The literal alpha and omega. All right, so you're all able to duck, weave, run, and get away from the sirens. What now? Find a quiet spot and do painting? Yeah, let's, uh, we'll do that. Okay, so the first person in the pain chain is Vanessa McClinty, and... The next cha- up the chain after that is Dumitru, who looks like... So, Vanessa is a white woman with sandy hair who looks like to be in her mid-twenties. Her eyes just gaze at you in your mind. And the other one appears to be a rather pale man from... The from Eastern Europe with sandy dark hair, porcelain like skin, and cold blue eyes. I'll relay what I found. It's possible that this was just coincidence. It's uh, it seems unlikely, but at the very least, we probably want to contact the leeches, maybe Nicholas directly. Skip this chain, ask about these people and see if he knows anything if he does and they are his brood will probably need to apologize for stepping on their toes but if they're not it's possible that there are vampires working with the good doctor Mm -hmm. or as we've possibly discussed maybe some people are just a puppet for a little bit and then let go you know the wolf did say the conspiracy went up to the top but Definitely, we need to talk to the leeches about this. Well, unless that's the top, like Zeb is perhaps getting at, I suppose we could <laughs> paint chain Nicholas. <laughs> I think that's actually not a terrible idea. And, and I mean, again, this is another, this is, this is a bold fucking move right here, right? I mean, if we had just gone in and killed that guy, what would have happened? Yeah. And that's why I suspect that this was just a vampiric pawn positioned so that we would get ourselves in trouble with the leeches. We'd, we'd take ourselves out, yeah. But uh, I suppose I'm gonna pain chain Nicholas. Okay. Which, which could be a terrible idea. I just, like, he's very powerful, but, you know, I, what, what can you do? Got nothing. Uh, do I want to mulligan that? For the sake of, I want that information. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna mulligan it. Okay. Fuck. I did my best. <laughs> I'll let everyone know that I couldn't get anything. Did we ever get close to the, the the place that we think Appleton's elements struck that office? I you know didn't... we had gotten like a location, so we never gone there yet. You hadn't gone there yet, no. I'd say let's go check it out, if only because if we're being watched by anyone at this point i don't want to head back to the cairn yet that's smart good precaution no we still might get arrested but it's about 3 p.m so once you get there it's about another hour of looking before you find the building that kind of matches the description and it's about four o'clock it's a office building of some kind that does have other various clinics in it 
So it looks like he was running a little private clinic out of this building. I guess at this point, how long has it been since that raid, we think? It's been a few months, right? Yeah. So there's no caution tape, no police light. It's all been, whatever happens, been repaired. Everything looks as it should. Yeah. Okay. Physically, maybe, but what about on the other side? You think it'd be prudent if said maybe, like, peek through the Umbra at this building? Well, I mean, I guess I can. What's the gauntlet here, King? I think it's diff nine because it's in the city because of the yeah. the thickening. Yeah, because of the increase. Mm, yeah, that is the rub. Well, we've got time. I could meditate on it, right? You could. Have everyone, have everyone search, like, really in-depth. Yep. Zeb will sit, kind of hiding out for a little bit. So... Okay. Looking through, you do find one that has been vacant for a couple months. Likely the the one that got raided. Does anyone have larceny to try and pick the lock? I can no. only bust the door down. You this is Dimitri too. work. I mean, could jam technology work on a lock? Just like... It could. Okay. It'd be diff nine. Because of... It's the mechanism. It's super simple. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Nope. You want me to try and just force the handle? Could kind of literally just break the lock at like with the handle itself. Is yeah. That what you're thinking? Sure. To do it quietly, yeah. it'll be diff diff nine as well. Okay. And that strength athletics or that'll that? be just that'll be just a straight strength check because it's going to okay. technically be strength larceny. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's six. Mm. Yeah. Man, whiffing everyone. Yeah. Well. It's... Well, I guess we can just get loud and... Well, so oh, I'm going to oh. say... No, so because uh, it would have been diff six otherwise to do it loudly, that means you technically got two successes on the loud check, so we're using the same roll. You do make some noise, so you're going to have to move quickly. Alrighty. Then we will all rush in. We will close the door okay. for now. Maybe people won't notice, and then we will go about our business trying to be fast, but maybe that buys us some time. Okay. Uh, looking in, you see initially a poster that says remember deep calming breaths you all lose two points of rage looking at it can we feel that if you feel calm that's what it does it just makes you feel calm but yes you can feel the rage bleeding out of you looking at that like yeah calm breaths this sounds like an incredible item you've just given us keegan i don't know <laughs> maybe we take that home with us <laughs> Is it wrap it up <laughs> Yeah, anytime someone just has a little too much rage, you just roll out the poster and you're like, ah. Do you think it'll <laughs> keep its magic outside of this place? Hey, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how magic works. I'm a wolf. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I grab the poster just okay. for the fun. I want to know if it still works outside. I'm going to do roll it. roll stamina. You bastard. <laughs> okay. I was being all gentle, too. Okay. <clears throat> Diff six. Diff seven. Okay. You take two points of aggravated damage as the poster turns into sulfuric acid in your hands. Oh shit, you're in Hamid form. Never mind. Three points of aggravated damage. Oh shit. Yeah, I wasn't sure what the stamina roll was for, so I was hoping it wasn't damage since I was doing it. But <laughs> no would such you, luck. Would you like a mother's touch? We'll wait. Okay. I might touch more acid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on standby. All right, Keegan. Um, having meditated for that hour, um, I can interact with the penumbra at Gnosis 8. Yep. So I'll be looking, and okay. then I will sense unnatural once again. I guess unless I see something truly horrific that sure. says you need to go. Okay. Damn. As you all watch, Zeb's eyes turn pure white. And Zeb, it almost appears like you didn't cross over into the umbra at all. This office is a perfect recreation in the Umbra, crafted down right to the folds in the carpet where your companions are stepping. And you know you're, they're stepping there because you can see their, sta their shadows standing where the carpet is moving. And just recall, Keegan, I don't have to cross over to use to use that gift. Oh, yeah. Not since the unnatural, but the other one. What was the other one? Um, uh, Pulse of the Invisible. Pulse of the Invisible, yeah. Got right, it. right, but I can see, I can see that it's, I can look and see that it's perfect. It's, it's like playing yeah. Diablo. It's, perfect, it's a perfect overlay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I mean. Yeah. Holy shit! And I mean, Zeb will say that out loud. He'll relay that description. Everything is a direct reflection. 
game, did the poster literally fully turn into sulfuric acid? Yeah, like, it, it melted into the, the ground, the, the floor, yeah. Is the poster still there? The poster is vanished, and some of the carpet is burned. Did it release the spirits in the Umbra, or something else <clears throat> that I can't tell? Yeah, you can't really tell. It just, once again, just oddly perfect. Are we in the stomach of a worm beast? I mean, I have four on Sense the Unnatural, so that's what we're looking for right now. Got I guess. it. So, the nature of this place. With, your, with your Sense Unnatural, you get the sense of something in the next room. Something odd. It's it's the smell of desperation, of sweat. That kind of moldering smell from festering wounds left untreated. The sweet smell of pus left out on a rotting arm for days on end in the hot sun. Does this have a manifestation in the Umbra? So that's just the smell, and it's in another that's room. That's the smell. That's okay, the smell all right, the well, room. all right, I will indicate that other room. Okay. And start moving toward it. All right, you move towards it. Do you open the door? Do you want me to open the door? I mean, we'll, we'll do the, it's almost like the dungeon crawl thing. Look at said door, look for a trap on the door, other weird lock on said doors, just regular office it's, door it's knob. Just off, it's an office door knob, leads in. We're all alone here, right? So far, though, you do hear a couple stirrings outside. Someone might have come to check the door, but nothing yet. If there's like a door stop or something, I'm just going to jam that under the okay. door so that they can't open it. Okay. I mean, let's have a look. Yeah. I'll go through first. All right. You open the door. It's a almost like a uh, room for therapy. There's a beautiful bookcase, empty, as far as you can see, Cora, and a poster that says open your mind and possibilities will be and you'll see the possibilities and you lose two points of willpower 10 points okay how does this room reflect in the umbra as you look in the shelves are not empty it's filled with like this tar of people screaming and slamming their fists against glass jars crying and weeping some of them are started to crack and you see the thing trying to, one of the little, like, creatures, humanoid shapes, trying to crawl out as fingers push through and the shadowy, like, skin peels back, revealing tendons and blood and flesh as it tries to rip out, as it screams in agony and begs. Well, this is the sense worm roll. That's just going to be hilarious, but do it anyway. So, the sense of the worm is actually fainter than you'd expect. It's a brief, brief whiff, mild from these things, like that of strong emotion and self-destructive thoughts. I'm gonna look these over, Kagan, and I'm gonna, do any of these faces look familiar? Some, some actually do. They, you see at least two from, that resemble some of the people from the local homeless encampments. You see others from Possibly people who've just run in across the city. There's a good 20 to 30 jars here as you see one of them trying to get out and it constantly s seems to be scratching and looking for something within its jar. Is it like a drug addict, Keegan? Yeah, that's what it appears to be. Well, he's carved little pieces of individuals and put them in these little jars in here. His cure, I guess? Something for one of his abominable practices looking at them closer Zeb, they're all cracked in various states of decay so what's ever holding these things is breaking is there an occult role i could do to try to divine what that might be mm, no i don't think so can i physically interact with them uh yes you pick it up the glass feels fragile obviously with all the cracks as the thing looks and slams and screams at you in its jar. Just a person that's in there? Yeah, a person crafted a shadow of tar, of, like, swirling liquid sadness and rage. I'm inclined to let them out. Scientific experimentation. To what ends? To thwart this piece of shit and the actions that he's taken. Like what he's done to Nightbiter. Are there any spaces missing there that are, are not full? Yes. 
there's a good yeah. while there's 20 jars here a good um 15 to 20 slots depending on the size of the jar as these jars are of varying size are missing if you want to release them i won't stop you it it sounds from your descriptions that they will be released over time anyway. Just be careful. Try one. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't attack you. I mean, we need more information. Let's see. I'll, uh, I'll try to open this one that I'm holding in my hand. You open it. It goes simple. It opens, the glass shatters, and the thing goes screaming off into the night, vanishing from the room. When it, when it goes out, does it look like a spirit to me or a wraith or, or just, just some kind of weird fragment? Just some sort of weird fragment, like a, just like a bolt of lightning being drawn to a rod. If we let them all out, it could very much disrupt the good doctor's uh, reputation for being able to help people. Um, but at the same time, if we're letting them out, then... We're giving the people back the thing that they needed help with, and that's kind of shitty of us. So, I don't disagree with you. My problem with this is just that we can't strengthen these bonds, and they will break on their own, it seems like. Hastening that might not be great, but just watching that happen at least taught us something. And seeing that there are spots missing makes it feel like these were the ones that were not important enough to take with him. But if there's a chance that he loses his hold on these people when they're released, even if they aren't important, maybe that still robs him of minions. Agreed. What Zeb will do is when he picks up the next one is try to interact with the thing in that jar if okay. he can talk to it. If not, then he'll just try and it just kind of weeps and is like, it's so hopeless. I'm going to try to get you out. What's your name? It's so hopeless. I have to go back. Go back where? I have to go back. It's hopeless. And Zeb will let them out. Okay, as you let them out, it's all done. It's going to be the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Right. As all the glasses open and shatter, and it's the only discrepancy between, between the two worlds. A room full of shattered glass, and a room that seems empty to everyone else. Are there other rooms in this clinic? There is... But it looks like this uh, they got um, cleared out either by Appleton and her group or the good doctor took what he needed. It's unclear. I just have a passing question. I can't help but think of the strange ruins that we stumbled upon in one of our spiritual journeys. That's something to do with the namers. Anybody else remember this? Can you be more specific? It was like some sort of pedestal or object that we were able to interact and actually talk with, and... Oh, after the summoning of truth, yes? I believe so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. And again, just passing question, think back to character, from player back to character. Is there any chance maybe we could get back there and ask the question, who's the good doctor? I don't know if we want to go back there, only because I think that might have been part of what led Roy astray. Uh, half of good intentions laden with the worm, so to speak. Right. Something like that, I think. Okay. I think if anything, Cora was on it. We've, we've, we've disrupted a network. We've had some kind of effect, and we should probably get the heck out of here. Good assumption. Is there a way to leave that is in that door? The window? <laughs> You're three stories up, but there is a fire escape if you want to go down that route. If it's clear outside and there's no one watching and it's not alarmed. It's not alarmed. Hard to tell if no one's watching because the streets are starting to get busy. It's about 5, 5.30 now, so it's rush hour. So in this part of town, there's cars hmm. going sun everywhere. Is still things out like too. that. Yeah, sun's still out. Keegan, if this is the uh, doctor's former office, can I see who owned the office? Sure. You can look that up while you guys are looking for a way out. Oh, Mark will post to the uh, question to the packs. Uh, you think there's a chance that there's uh, like a bay in the back for them to load up and haul off supplies, medical and otherwise? The name you bring up real quick, William, is Elias Orr. Elias Orr. Go ahead and cross-reference that with... 
the therapy website? No, the uh, oh. like the LinkedIn or the oh, the yeah. Indeed. But yeah. yes, that name doesn't come up in any socials that you can find. To your question, Adam, I think the issue was getting out of this specific suite, less the building, and so it's either go back through the door that you jimmied, or go down the fire escape. And part of me just says, like, fucking take the fire escape. And if some jamokes in the streets see us going down the fire escape, I don't really care. We're just going to run away. Yeah, like, confidence so in tone sooner, is everything, so... I would sooner not run into anyone in in the hallway coming out the door where we're stuck in the building versus just being outside and, and booking it. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, let's do it then. <laughs> so you guys start heading out that way. Who's going out first? Mark will go out first. Perfect. Thank you, Mark. Give me one sec. No problem. I'll get my character sheet up again. And probably for the best, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just the way you were like, ah, oh, perfect. Fantastic. Love to see it. There's a ping noise. Mark, you feel incredible pain. And of course you do. You took four points of lethal damage as silently a bullet rips through your body and lightly pings into the wall behind you as it gets a good clip into your side, rips through some of your uh, lung tissue, and bursts out the side. I'll, I'll do the heroic knee then, like, ugh. Oh, well, actually, a better one would be, I need a dex athletics to prevent yourself from falling off the building from pain. Good point. With the, with the minus two penalty, because you're wounded. Oh, dang. Minus two to dice pool? Yep. Yay. So you start to fall as you catch yourself. You f you catch, grab, and you bring yourself to fall into the next rung down as you slam down hard, blood splattering out. Yeah, Mark's going to yell out sniper and start going down the fire escape really fast. Okay. And when, uh, let's see, you said I was on the third floor? Yeah, you're now on the second. <laughs> now on the second. When I get to that first floor... Landing yeah. run, I'll just jump from it. And okay. hopefully into some garbage. Cool, one sec. All the while, I want to be changing into Glabro form. Sure. Uh, you'll need to roll for that one, or spend rage. Uh, I will spend rage, and I'm in Glabro. Fantastic. You feel another one go through you? So you get to heal one point of lethal, so you're only at three lethal now. But you feel another th one hit you, and okay. it's aggravated. Uh -huh because it's silver. You were able to take only lethal in Hamid form as the shot goes off. But this time you guys hear the gunshot go off and it's about four, maybe five football fields away and you hear the screams in a distant building. Mark, as you try and drop down, because you're still, you're still alive, but you're going unconscious, it hits you in the kneecap and your leg goes flying off. As you land hard on the ground, and your leg lands right on your chest as you start to slip into unconsciousness. Would you like to spend willpower to try and reattach your leg while you're still slightly conscious? Will do. I'm spending willpower. All right. What's everyone uh, else how much? Doing? How much aggravated was that? Five. I am incapacitated. Yes, you're going out. That's why you had to spend the willpower to stay yep. up. Actually, and, you have to do, spend another Before rage. I pass out. I'll, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll spend my last rage. And now you got to do Rage Diff 8. So you heal two points of the aggravated damage as people are like, oh my god, are you okay? And then you guys hear the screams as Mark starts to shift into Krynos form in the throes of a frenzy. Does my leg reattach? Sure does. New, problems, right. ha new problems have arisen, though. Right, I wanted to make sure that one problem was cleared first. Fair, fair. <laughs> What's everyone else doing? How far of a drop is it? Three stories. So okay. 30 feet. All right. Um, I guess uh, Dimitri could, will go next. And um, could I kind of climb, not taking the steps down the fire escape, but could I like like jump over the railing and kind of climb down that way? To try yes. To go a and bit that will be a dex athletics roll. Please diff eight. All right. You hear a crunch and a gurgle from someone. All right. You're leaping. So... That means that our boy's pool is a little less, and or specifically, it's more difficult now. So the bullet goes careening and it misses, 
as you hear the gunshot go off again and you hear more screaming a few blocks down. Okay, um, and then when I'm about two stories up, could I safely drop down? No, yeah, yeah. This is you going down as quickly as possible. Oh, you succeeded okay. getting to the ground level. As you okay, see Mark gotcha. flip a car. All right. I'm going to try to get Mark's attention, and I'm going to activate Song of the Siren. Okay. Mark, what's your willpower? My willpower is seven. All right. So that actually, because Mark is in the throes of a frenzy, that difficulty goes up by two. All right. Feeling good about this. Down for a turn. So it's Mark. You stop. Delirium is happening all over the goddamn place. One one yeehaw has enough willpower to go ah! and unloads his gun towards Mark. Mark soaks it all, and then it's click 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 click, and he's just continuing to pull the trigger. All right, who's next uh, in the group yeah. inside the building? I'll come down. Okay. As best as I can, quickly. Okay. So you just run in it. Uh. uh... Yeah. Cora, so what are you doing? Just running? Yeah, I'm, I'm running down them um, as fast as I can. Okay. Then Miss. I'll, uh, <laughs> then I, I want to get to Mark since he's incapacitated and kind of like... He's frenzying now. Oh, okay. Well, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's held by Song of the Siren, but once that turns over, back to full frenzy. That's true. And most likely at the person that unloaded on me. Yeah, no, not, I was, not most likely, absolutely. I was going to drag him away from all of everything. Okay, so, so, to try you and spend, stop his. so you want to spend rage to shift into Krynos? Mm-hmm. Okay, shift, uh, you shift into Krynos, and now I need a strength or a dex brawl to get him in a grapple so you can control him. But he can't dodge it, obviously. You get him, and you do pull him immediately into the alleyway with that high of a success. But he is still frenzying. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to stay grappled on him. Yep, and we'll figure that out as the turns go on. All right, who's going next? What's? I'll go. All right. And I'm just going to book it, and then while I'm booking it, I will yell, like, oh, no, it's a, it's a grizzly bear. Run, you know. Just put that in their heads. Sure. Something. There's probably too many people here to kill, right? Like, <laughs> Certainly. Well, there's still cars driving around, like, freaking out. Like, they're crashing. People are seeing these two crinos freaking out, and the cars are crashing. There's a 10-car pileup and counting. Hey, good thing we caused that shooting earlier. And did you got no successes on your Lunar's armor, right? That's correct, yes. Six oh, lethal. Well, that's not good, because then I'll frenzy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, out of curiosity, what's the, uh, when exactly does this happen? Am I even through the window yet? You are through the window. You're about all, the, you're on the last rung. I just love how the guy who screams grizzly bear is going to turn into a grizzly bear. Oh no, grizzly bear, it was me! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> hmm. Like, the imagery I'm getting, too, is, like, this human body is, like, flipping and falling, but, like, slowly getting bigger, and then, like, once it, like, slams on the ground, it's just Krynos. So, Kyle? Yeah, sorry, I'm looking for one of my gifts. Got it. I'm having trouble finding it. Oh, is it Swallow Rage? I was, I, I've never used it. Because you take damage this when you moment. do it, I know. Yeah, but it would be separate. Sure, you'd heal, and then you could... So you could heal, see how much you heal, and then you could see if you want to do Swallow Rage. Yeah, I think I think that's the, the course of action, because if I only heal one, then Swallowing Rage would just kill me. Yeah, exactly. Uh. So. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see that Frenzy roll. Spend a point of Rage and roll Temp or Permanent, whichever is higher at Diff 8. Oh, well, I just gained one from getting shot, so let me put that back. All right, All right you cool. heal two points of egg and shift into Krynos. Are you going to use Swallow Rage? Because that is a uh, risk. Because I think it's every success you roll translates to a point of damage. Yes, it does. Um, yeah, it probably would be bad for me to do that. It's probably not a good a good call. Okay. So, Kyle, you tip, you fall into the dumpster, explode out in Krynos. Alright, now Zeb. 
All right, Kagan, so I can still interact with the penumbra here when I'm looking out. Is there, I mean, again, sun's going down, it's late afternoon. Are there, like, my goal is I'm gonna try to use Command Spirit to create some kind of flare off the glass here. So, okay. so William can get out the window while there's like a massive glare. Okay. And I want to command one of the spirits nearby to do that for me. Zeb's going to stealth out the other way. Okay. Yeah, that's that's doable. You you can command a spirit to do that. What? Uh, probably yeah. gaff. It does work. Or... Yeah, that'd be fine. Hope you brought your sunglasses, William. I will give a gnosis. Glare. Boom. There is a massive glare that even blinds Kyle briefly. William? Go, William, go! And William, what are you doing? I'm going to jump out the window, spend a point of rage mid-air to shift into Krynos, and do the superhero landing. Awesome. Roll stamina for me, please. You superhero landing, you take no damage. You see another car just boom crash as... You see a 16-wheeler carrying gas coming up as you start to see him starting to move erratically. As he starts to see these Krynos in the street. Zeb, you gotta still stealth out. What's the base diff gonna be, Keegan? Um, cause you're going out a different door, right? I'm going out the other way, yes. Yeah, uh, it's diff three because everyone's focused on the fucking absolute chaos that's happening in the direction fucking William went. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kyle, you leap out at someone as you grab them and just destroy them left and right as you're just There are still people, people right next to me? There are people running, they, some went catatonic and just froze. Oh, like, that's horrible. Delirium okay. doesn't just cause people to run. Sometimes they freeze, yeah. sometimes, yeah. So you're going through and then you see some running and your your predator instinct has kicked in. And unfortunately, Cora is holding Mark instead. And Cora, Mark, I need an opposed strength check. Diff six for both of you. Cora holds and Cora pulls you further and further away from the the action, which is good. Uh, as Dimitri, what are you doing this round? There's a gas truck about to crash and it's going to probably explode. I kind of want to get away from the gas truck. Start running. Uh, okay. Um, is Kyle in the path of the gas truck? Kyle's chasing people in the opposite direction of the gas truck. So Kyle might be out of the way in time. I guess I'm going to go after Kyle and make sure he doesn't... Um... All right, he so here, this is what you're going to do. You're going to do a dex, uh, dex brawl, diff seven to okay. body tackle Kyle. All right. So that Kyle will be angry and chase you. Unfortunately, Sounds good. your dazzle machine is a little angry right now. You, t you do the body check. Kyle turns, and I assume you shift into lupus so you can be faster. Oh, absolutely. Because you don't need to spend anything for that. Yeah, just... I'll so just you start running. Zeb, you start shooting out the door. William, what are you doing? I'm going to go ahead and try and grab Kyle and bring him into the alley. Okay. That's a dex, just, dex brawl. Yep. Actually, instead of, in, instead of grabbing and dragging, I'm going to literally pick him up and throw him into the alley. Cool. Dex brawl all the same. Okay. You get just enough as you run up. Kyle seems ready to swing at Dimitri when you come in and you grab, you pick, and you fling him into an alleyway. Just as this happens, you get knocked back a good 10 feet. No damage, though, as the gas truck hits, ignites. As you go out the building, Zeb, every window shatters as there's this ear-ringing kaboom as all of you have tinnitus now. At least we regenerate, right? You, well, you don't. You're in breed form right now. Oh, no. <laughs> After some fightings and tussling, Mark and Kyle are no longer frenzying, and they've healed their lethal damage as you guys try and get away from the scene of absolute horror. That was bait. Somebody knew we were going to be there. Where did we end up, Keegan? Just random wherever the wherever the shit place we could to finally catch our breath. You're in, yeah, you're deep down south Nevada, so you're in like the poor part of town, hiding behind some of the seedy motels. 
patching up wounds and just trying to collect yourselves. Yeah, you ain't wrong. We're real far behind. Yep. William, can you shoot a text to one of the local kin and just have them let us know when it's safe to probably start moving back to the city once all this shit dies down? Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll shoot a text to anyone. Yep. Because you guys kind of sit. Well, you get some local news alerts on your phone like you, you typically do. So the news said that in a tragic, massive car pileup, over uh, over 20 dead and at least 30, uh, at least 50 injured in this massive explosion, the toll is expected to rise on another notification, which is buried mostly about the the explosions, is Colorado is now seeing other tragedies. And there's some talk about what's going on as Colorado Springs sees a sudden spike in suicides. Well over 20 people suddenly and unrelatedly seem to have taken their own lives. And this happened, this announcement happened apparently just before the major tanker issue or those those reports started to come in but was quickly overshadowed by the other tragedy that seemed to happen immediately afterwards okay neither of which i'm looking for but i'll relay that to the the group i'll I'll actually go ahead and take down the names of the people that took their lives and shoot that email or text to the steel mountain Send that to Steel Mountain and let them know, hey, more information as far as who could have received help from. Uh, So I'll go ahead and send that over to them. Give them something else to work on or some more information to work off of. Okay. And then since we're still kind of sitting here, I want to see if there were any reports on where the gunshots came from. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then see if I could work my way into security footage. I don't know if it's going to be a, a seat, like closed network or if it's something that I can back end my way into. So it is a closed network because it's just security f- cam and that's usually closed network. So you do see it's a at the um it's at the Horner Gar- uh Horton F- Horton Forest Inn, a large multi-story hotel that was about several football fields away from you and it seems like the shots came from the upper stories when police finally were able to investigate due to resources running thin due to all the things that were happening today they found a bomb that went off and killed three officers and two staff members. The bomb seems to have used shrapnel. Nothing beyond that. Okay. We might be chasing our tail, but we could possibly go here and look to see who the person who shot at us and try and get answers from them. I suspect that that bomb was for us and that that shrapnel was silver. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Maybe we can try to get that information later on. We've gone through a pretty tremendous ass kicking today. I don't know if we want to go and investigate anything more while all these problems are still being handled. If that hotel has security footage that you can grab without us going there, then I think that's a thing to do. But I suspect that they have already dealt with anything like that, considering how prepared they were. So you guys get back to the Karen at like midnight after crossing the town and after laying low. Something interesting happens though, William, you get another uh, notification the next day after you all wake up. There's Go ahead a and read fuzz- that. No. Oh yeah, uh, it's a news report about the shooter at the hotel. There's grainy footage of him. He looks real young, maybe 18 or 19, but it's real fuzzy. It's hard to get any good good idea on him, but he did not, he didn't seem to think he needed to hack any of the hotel security and that the police have, are looking for this kid. Well, guys, they have information on this kid. There could be video that we can scrub so we can go off of that, but it is closed network. So we can't, I can't do it from out here. We have to get there. 
and they did release some of the video. Like there's there's a grainy footage from the like it's the security footage on the article of the kid walking through the hall. It's just really bad footage because they're not top of the line cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, you also get one more notification. It seems like some poor man named Austin Livingston was murdered in his own house. Gunshots were fired through the front of his house before criminals broke into his neighbor's home. Austin was known for wanting to start up a real estate company and had worked prominently in Colorado's marijuana fields. Here's a picture of him with some friends celebrating their graduation at the lo local burrito gong. And in the picture, you see Kyle, just notice the person, nod, and is in the background ordering food with some other homeless people, which is where he probably got the descriptions mixed up because looking at the picture, Kyle, this person looks very similar to Edgar Martin, and you could see how your descriptions would cross wires even with your eidetic memory. I'll say it. Fuck. Question for our thurges. Could we take that video footage and maybe ask a, a spirit to uh, clean it up. See if we can identify the person that way. Could do that. Or we could try to interact with reflections to find this person. As grainy as that footage is, that's not a terrible idea. It could be something twofold. If we can get some help to make it even just a little bit better, we might be able to, might be able to use the spirits here to try to find them. What would we need to do to the Video, the tape. To make it better? I mean, we, nothing. We might have resources available that could make it a little bit cleaner. But even as even as poor as that reflection is, we might be able to have spirits that have seen the reflection of this individual on a surface, is, is my point. Whether it's glass spirits, spirits of mirrors, whatever, to try to see as we've tracked people before to see if we could try to find this person in an area. But so it's been hours. That actually would be... Four, and both you, Mark, and you, Zeb, know this, would be under the domain of the City Father. Could you clarify for player of Mark? So the City Far Father is the spiritual incarnation of the city itself, which means that it would have connections to all the glass spirits, all the various other creatures that live within its city. They don't all get along, but the City Father is the literal personality and like spiritual impression of the city the spiritual incarnation of Colorado Springs. I think I know of a place that could aid us. A place where it might be easy. Don't you all have a statue in the middle of an intersection that people refuse to get rid of? Yes. That could very well be a nice spiritual embodiment of the city. It does sound like a good plan. You guys want to spend three hours? Well, actually, you guys can go into the city via the Umbra and pass through into the Umbra here in the Karen. Also, you all healed one point of ag, and you all healed one point of willpower, and all lethal wounds are gone. Keegan, if I want to see if it's possible to check social media for pictures of the hotel. Okay. Um, up to ten hours before the shooting. Okay. And see if I can get any sort of possible ID like even if it's like 10 or so people we might be able to get something because I'm not looking at who took the picture but who's in the background okay sure that would be an intelligence investigation and because of just the sheer volume we'll go diff 7 oh, god damn it you can also you can replace investigation with computers minus two. Okay, I can at least do that then, because I have no ant or er, investigation. So ant computers minus two dice. Diff. What was it again? Seven. Seven. I'll take. So it. so it takes you about five hours to comb through all those photos because just the dearth of photos of people visiting things like that. You find a couple. There's several young people who could be the blurry picture in the background as but one does seem to stand out but he's not tagged in anything he's just in the background okay i'll point him out to the the group i might have a possible lead for the shooter uh, took me quite some time to get get it but 
we could still go to the, the hotel. You would also present that picture to the city father as a clear right, image. Right, or that. Yeah. Well done. I think we should follow Mark's idea. As you go to the center of the city, the difficulty for the city father at Palmer statue, because it's so closely associated with the city, is diff six for this powerful spirit for right of summoning. That's which rituals? Do you want to do it, uh, whoever has highest, or I help you out, yeah. lower the... Yeah, I mean, I, I have nine. Do you have the same, I think? I have eight, so you've so, got okay. this. So the whole with the whole pack helping, though, yeah. that's an additional minus two difficulty. As you guys are... So nice. the statue comes to life immediately as this great iron, or I guess a brass palmer... General Palmer exists and steps. He walks awkwardly between all of you, making it difficult for you guys to see each other and around him. What brings you here? We were attacked by an enemy in the city. He's been hard to find, and we're trying to track him. Up to no good. Up to no good. What is this enemy? I've heard many disturbances through my flesh. There is one that serves the worm that has been here for some time. Manipulating people, citizens here. Mm. He's caused many to harm themselves. He's employed some, I think, unwittingly. We have a picture. We hope to find them. We hope to stop them. May I see the picture? Of course, sir. And he'll point at William. I'll go ahead and show the grainy photo. As he looks, hmm, not much to go off of. Would you like to show your other photo? I would. I, okay. I and I would present it. I did do some research. I believe it could be this person but hmm, as... the, the person in the grainy photo is for sure the the culprit oh yes i think you are right yes i've seen this one. Oh, yes they have the rifle i felt its ripples let's see as he reaches out and you see like bird spirits kind of land on him in a uh in his statue form as he listens to them thank you it seems that this is one who has come here rather recently. His name is Jeff Wesley. Kyle, that pings something in the back of your mind. It was a long time ago. You were 16, maybe 17, the last time you heard that name. It seems so inconsequential. Didn't you go on a farm owned by Wesleys? Because they were overdrawing from an aquifer, and to aid the spirits, you had to shut down the aquifer. A kid of that age, that sounds like one of the kids of the farmer whose farm you ruined. I think I would have been 18 then, just okay. as a clarifier. But Kyle will point that out. Does anyone remember if we ever heard the names of the kids? Corey, you do remember that you heard the name Jeff said when you were trying to sneak through the barn. Yeah, I, I recognize that name. Okay, I'm not trying to... I'm really not trying to, like, you know, get too conspiratorial here, but were we just fucking ambushed by a hunter? There have been special namers that have been attacking since the Red Star appeared. We know that the doctor has uh, two others that he's working with. I don't think it's too far-fetched to think that there might be other namers that um, that work for him possibly owe him favors or that he's responsible for it's been years and this was a very specific situation for this to happen to so he likely gave them this information right i doubt they were doing him a favor by doing this it's vengeance and if it goes back that long there are probably a hundred other names so then we have a leak oh if he has access to our dreams storm chaser approaches you all the elders Here. wish to speak with you. Yeah. The elders wish to speak with you. Uh, of course they do. Zeb will pay out Gnosis in the form of seed to the burrs that the city father called forward. City father, I am in your debt. I will perform any tasks you would ask for me. Please clean up the parks. They're precious to me and precious to those who call me home. They have been neglected. Of course. We'll take our leave of the city father, but not Storm Chaser. Okay. We are incredibly fucked. I just want you to know that. Incredibly fucked. We are so fucking far behind right now, we don't have a chance. I Not one fucking chance. I spoke to Daniel. 
He ex he understood the mix-up. There's going to be no war with the leeches. Spoke on your behalf to the elders. They just want to confirm some things with you. Oh, yes. Daniel Sandu is the new prince after Nicholas was driven out during the peace talks. I appreciate that, but you know what I'm talking about. Has he called on you again yet? I don't think that's pertinent. What did you find in a, his office? Fragments and jars that he'd been keeping. What Some of them are missing. As you see this visible sigh, what did you do with them? Released them. And then 20 people unrelated to each other committed suicide last night. I see. He still has mine. You have my sympathy. Truly. That one is for this body. If it breaks, then I can no longer aid the nation. I've been trying to get a hold of it. I've been trying to find things. We'll have to try to find the next hideout then, if we have a prayer. Zeb, you mentioned there were 15 missing jars. I, I don't think it was 15. There were some. There were several. Was it 10? I said 15 to 20-ish. 15 to 20-ish. Okay. Because okay. all the jars varied in size. Right. Right. We know Chase is the storm's soul is amongst them, but who else does he have that he needs to keep close to him? This is a long shot, bud. You wouldn't happen to know if anybody else under this type of control would you chase the storm? Rumors. I've heard that maybe Daniel Second might have had some dealings with the good doctor. He'll be near the Karen as well. He would like an apology from all of you. He's quite reasonable in that regard, I think. Of course. No, it's Ode. Come, let us return. We'll have to go back into the physical realm, but we can do that through the center of the Karen, which you all do. You get back. The elders watch as Kyle... You, you're expecting some man by the name of Daniel Sandu, but his face looks exactly like Dimitru that you'd seen in your pain chain. The late 30s, early 40s looking man goes, and these are the ones? Yes, a pleasure to meet all of you. I wish it was under less trying circumstances. The pleasure's all ours, and we are incredibly sorry for putting one of your people in danger, for stepping onto their territory, for all of it. So I need to ask, how many have you potentially killed accidentally of my people with guns? I was not a, accustomed to Lupins using guns. Uh, Kyle will kind of cock his head to the side, be like, well, we were, the person we shot was someone we were tracking. And then the smells confused us. We thought they were related. And then they, when we realized we stopped. I see, but how many have you you shot? How many how many other enemies, whether you thought they were whether they were just regular people or not, did you shoot in the past? Uh, Kyle answered that honestly. Kyle shot one guy. Right? Sure. That's that's yeah, true, yeah. right? That, that is true, that person. is true. No, yeah, he's true. So I, I don't think Corzy even ever hold, held a gun. <laughs> As he's looking at you, you can see the visible confusion, he goes, Interesting. Are there shootings that worry you? Perhaps. There were shootings that I heard. There was so many shootings in town, I was wondering what was going on, whether it was a coordinated attack, something at the hotel, something at the house that had turned out to be you, and a few others the week before. Well, I don't see a reason to keep this part secret. The hotel shooter was shooting at us. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, if I can get any information on this shooter, perhaps we can work out a deal. This lo level of chaos is hurting the stability of my fief, and I would much prefer it to be solved. So if this shooter is after you, and if this shooter is also killing my people, or he will come after me after he's done with you, I'd propose a thawing of relationships and a little more information moving freely. I certainly don't mind that, but that is more a call than just I can make. We'll need to confer amongst ourselves and likely our, our elders as well. Very well. Well, if that is the case, then please take this card. This is one of my burners. You are free to call it. Once you call it, though, that's your chance. The phone goes into the trash afterwards, understood? Understood. Thank you. All right. With that, you approach the elders. 
They seem haggard at best. As Binds the Darkness goes, we need an explanation. What is going on? It has been absolute chaos in the city. There's talks of wild animal attacks and explosions in the city, gunfire that almost breaks the truce with the leeches when we have greater problems threatening our borders, including new kinds of shambling dead. What the fuck happened? Kyle will rub his temples. We can start with a portion of this. About two years ago, when some of these Garu headed beyond the Second Veil, the, the creatures there talked about an entity called the Good Doctor that was raising the restless dead and returning them to life. We had kept that name in our minds for some time, especially after the goings-on when the truth and Connor was summoned. That entity continues to act, continues to manipulate, and we believe might be endangering the entirety of the city. It was pursuing that entity that caused us to end up killing this random man who we thought was an alias, a direct servitor of the worm. He's been impressively steps ahead of us the entire time. The shooter using silver bullets as we exited the building from which we went to investigate the year were fragments of spirits that this entity, the good doctor, had bound away in jars that were decaying in the umbra. It's he's doing things. Even the spirits of death fear him and what he's capable of. And it's getting worse. Worse? I had found a wild namer and sent him to Colorado Springs to investigate these goings on. He returned to me to tell me only that there was a conspiracy that went to the very top. I'm still trying to figure out what that means. But it seems to be that here and now, after we go to a place to investigate, get shot at, have a massive explosion, dozens die after killing the wrong person, to begin with that we were pursuing under a name that he has and then we come back here to the possibility of hostilities with the leeches yes things have gotten worse older brother can start investigating where was this good doctor's office zeb will give the location at the time we had directed associates of dr appleton that had tortured those among our number to attack it it was the first instance of us driving the good doctor from its lair it was after that that he threatened us directly. What do you think this good doctor is capable of? Honestly, from each of you. The namers that I spoke to said that he very well might be the most powerful namer on Earth, or remaining on Earth. He can raise the dead. He can reform even dead Garu. He can manipulate minds. I think it's beyond any power that we've seen. And it's possible he can manipulate Hirano as he threatened me directly with curing Jonathan Nightbiter of his Hirano. Nightbiter passed through here some time ago and is now at another older brother, Karen, in Hawaii. Yes, that was what he told us when he passed through here. That is correct, and that is what he told me back at the Sept of the Five Mirrors. Continue. He serves the Urgeworm directly. All the elders just gawk at you. So... Whatever strength comes with that is what he possesses. From the stories of my tribe, I believe that he embodies much of our tales of Odin. A mage, a sorcerer, a necromancer, someone who seems immortal. I, he, he can give life over and over again to the dead, and I don't see why he wouldn't be able to do that for himself if his soul isn't destroyed as well. I see. I know that he came to me in one of my dreams and also threatened some of the kinfolk that I know. The good doctor is the reason Steel Mountain is no longer around. Why did it take so long to tell us? The good doctor has plans for this sept. Sept, uh, the plans that started with the return of Faces the Storm. Whatever he is trying to do is something that we have tried to speak about in the past, that the king of the nation decided was not happening. That is what happened the last time we tried to speak about these things, that no, he is not some strange worm creature, he is a Garu returned. Further, to have influence over other Garu is a dangerous thing to be released 
into the wild as knowledge. It breeds mistrust between everyone, and it was something that we did not want to bring into this place, to cast brother against sister. But this day of failures demanded answers. The Red Talon shared a vision, and it's our belief that this entity's goal at the end is to release the Storm Eater. Teresa. And we know that it influences nationwide. Teresa, Fate Dancer, gasps. There is wisdom in what you've done to try and stop distress, though we wish you had brought it with at least some members of this council. She looks over at Kyle with a bit of hurt. But we understand that you were working from a difficult position. We know now, and I have to ask you outright, are there any Garu here now? Any who have had or continue to have dealings with this creature? Yes, but because some of the knowledge that we have is known to the good doctor and some of it is not, we have tried not to tip our hands in any way to let him know what we do know and what we don't. We have no idea, because again, his plans for this sept are unknown to us, but they do exist, and he has pursued them for years. We could know a handful of many, or we could know all. And if we know all, and we expose all, then we run the risk that he creates more. It doesn't that, seem to be difficult for him. That is true, but we need to know, speaks up, swift judgment. We need to know who is controlled now so that this council can at least watch them closely. Kyle will shift a little uncomfortably and say, we brought one of the names to the attention of the Margrave and others. They indirectly, they sent Garu to investigate and their memories, minds were changed. And this was viewed as a misunderstanding. I fear that were we to give you that information, they would be treated differently. It would be known. And because of that, you all would, your minds would be changed as well. Memories purged, what have you. I see. And at the very least, this is very much sounding like history class, where like, the witch hunts that happened give us the name and then are they are they tortured and and killed or do they give another name and another name and another name and another name and it just it becomes this whole giant fiasco of he said she said do we not have truth hearings but i catch your point but leaving that information with just you all given the number of enemies you have and now the attempts on your life if you don't want to give it to the elders Fine, but you must pick one other Garu out of the set to give that information to. And you will know that name, I assume? Yes. If you die, we can then have that as a contingency. Then hopefully it should gladden you to know that we did take that step and Howling King was made aware. That does help, yes. Speak swift judgment before Worm Charmer goes, but now... We get to the next matter. Nightbiter is one, and goes to a Karen unprepared. We'll wait a few days for you to lick your wounds, do some moot rites here, and make it look like you are being thoroughly punished for your actions, or at least disciplined. We will then have you go by via Moonbridge to seek out Jonathan to see what he has been doing, and to warn the Karen of his, well, of his corruption. At least one there. Speak to the elders there. As I doubt your good doctor has eyes as thoroughly glued to that Karen. Yes? It's our hope so, yes, that his focus isn't on that Karen. And that this is just torture for me. Whether if he has actually been cured of his Hirano or if this is a trick of his. Then we'll let you seek your answers. Think of it that way. I know it'll be painful, but now that this threat is upon us, we have to do this. Thank you, Elder. You honor me with this opportunity. And there is one more thing that I think you should know about the people who have 
the good doctor in their ear. They don't lose who they are, they don't change fundamentally, they have the same wants, the same desires. They are still the people we care about, but perhaps not always. Our hope is that if he could be killed, everyone else would just return to normal Understood. without his influence. Understood. Well, as you guys stick around in the septid, they basically hold you for two weeks to get things going. And so, after two weeks, you are allowed to get ready for your journey. You'll roll a single d10 for new rage scores, and we'll see how this all shakes out next time. Thank you to everyone who listened. We'll catch you in that next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.